Say man, hey man. It's your boy Dora Hall, and we're back with another NBA 2K24 next gen build video. But before I get into the build, I need you guys to let me know in the comments what is your favorite spicy food. What is your favorite spicy food? Me personally, I don't do spicy, but I want to let I want you guys to let me know uh, what is your favorite spicy food. So with this build, we have a point of attack stopper, man. Really, really balanced build. A build that can lock up on defense for sure. You will get some great badges. You still can get your own shot. You can shoot threes. You can dunk. You can do layups. So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go into the you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's like button time. And I need you guys to go down there and hit that like button. Get this video to 50 likes. And if you haven't already, hit the link in the description to join the Discord. Hit the link in the description to follow me on Twitch. So we have the small forward um, position right here, as you guys can see. Now, you can go 6'6", six, six, you can go 6'7", six, you can go 6'8". 6'8 um, kind of gave me more of what I was looking for. I tried to do the same build as 6'7", but they wouldn't give me the same um, 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 attribute spread or whatever. So, I went with 6'8". Even though you're going to take a small hit on the speed, you know, we're still good with that. 195 on the way, 7'6", wingspan. Let's get into it. So, we're going to go ahead and start with the finishing now. I had said I was going to start um, uh, making builds with more drive and layup because a lot of builds I take the layup to a 70. And, you know, you can't really get a whole lot of um, um, signature layup packages with that. So I took it up to an 80 this time. Okay, so for you guys out there looking for a uh, good layup package, man, 80 should get you some good layup packages. But if you take it past 80 for this particular build, it would change the name of it. So that's why I just left it at an 80. And we have a 60 on the close shot. For the driver layup, we took that up to an 80. We don't want to change the name of the build. You can do a 75 if you want to. I just took it to an 80. Uh, for the standard dunk, we did a 45 on that. And we're going to go down to the strength. Of course, we're going to take the strength up on the build so we can have um, badges like Bulldozer, Fearless Finish on Silver. We got a move button for so we got brick wall and everything. Okay, for the layup, all you need is a 74 because we don't get contact dunks, but we will need the... Um, the vertical for the chase down artist right so with the 45 on the standard dunk you do get some standard dunk animation that was very important uh, we get posterized as you guys can see slithery on silver we got a few gold badges in there as well okay so um we got a lot of gold badges with the uh, layup as you can see two step spin cycle giant slayer float gang scooper aerial wizard and uh we got the other badges are silver and one hall of fame badge so that's pretty good but let's go ahead and get to the green bay make your girl screen badge now this part of the bill may cause some people not to create it because we're going to only have a 77 three-point shot, right? So with the 77 three-point shot, um, we, you know, we, we can get some okay jump shots, but we, like a lot of people, not we, but a lot of people, um, their confidence is not the same with a 77 three-point shot. Yeah, it would be the same if you had super high mid-range, but with this bill, the highest we can probably get the mid-range is around a 76 or something like that. So if you want to keep the same name, the highest you can go is a 76. But we didn't add anything on that, man. You know, we just left it like this right here. I know a lot of people are going to complain about that, you know, because so many people are conditioned to think that they have to have that mid-range shot on their build to make shots. Like, I'm going to make a build with just a 77 three-point shot to show people because I see a lot of people saying, oh, I got a 70-something three-point shot. But you got a 90 some mid-range shot. So you're not telling everything because if you got a, a 77 three-point shot and a 90 some mid-range shot, you're going to have Hall of Fame catch and shoot and all that stuff right there. So don't just act like you just got a 77 and no mid-range because that's not the, the the true story. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people trying to make their, their stats look good saying, oh, I got this percentage and that percentage. But you're not telling everything, okay? So I took a hit on the free throw with this build. We left it at a 60. I know somebody's going to complain about that, but I still think you can make free throws with a 60. Uh, you should be fine. You know, get you a good good um, release, and you should be good. But let's go ahead and get into the house. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody mama can see this video. And I need everybody mama to see the video, so do that for your boy, boy. Now, the passing is not super high. Uh, we have that at a 70. I think that's okay uh, for this particular build. Um, you're not at the point guard position, not at the shooting guard position. So you should be at the three or the four uh, when it's all said and done, okay? For the ball handle, um, I was debating on this. Do I want to go 81 or do I want to go 76? So what I did was I ended up going with a 76. I just want you guys to have some ball handle and some speed with ball, okay? So we still can be able to move around and get our own shot, okay? 
So we have a 75 on the speed with bomb. We're gonna go down and take the speed up. This is the only thing that I don't like about 6'8. Um, you take a hit on the speed. Now, if you were 6'7, you probably can go up to like an 86 or whatever. And if you use 6'6, you can go up even higher. Uh, for the acceleration, we do have that at a 77 because we have high perimeter defense. So, um, with that being said, we have triple strike on silver, hyperdrive on silver, bronze speed boosters, bronze blowout, which is pretty good. Uh, we also have um, unpluckable on this build. We got ankle breaker. Um, we have handle for days. We got physical handles on gold, which is a really, really good badge that is slept on a lot. Um, if you don't know how to activate that, man, once somebody give you that bump animation, you just flick your analog and that will kind of give you that physical handle move or whatever. Uh, we also have killer combos on bronze, which is not bad. You know, you still, like I said, you still can get your own shot with this build, okay? Most lockdowns, they don't have any ball handle, right? And if you don't go with the ball handle, that will give you more in other categories. So if that's something you want to do, then go ahead and do it. I'm just giving you the build with a little bit of ball handle so you can move around a little bit. Now, let's get to one of the best parts of the build. Well, the best, the, the best part of the build, really is the defense, okay? So for interior defense, um, we're gonna take that to uh, 61. That does allow us to get anchor as long as you have your shot blocking up. So we're gonna take the block up to a 79, which does give us um, pogo on bronze. We got anchor, we got chase down order. So that's really, really good for this build. You will be able to block some shots, no doubt about it. So for the steel, we're gonna take that to a 91, which is a great number. Having a 91 steel does allow you to get gold glove, gold intercept, and gold right stick ripper. So that's pretty good in my opinion. For the perimeter defense, we're gonna take that up to a 94. That does give us, um, what we got? Um, anchor brace on Hall of Fame, challenge on Hall of Fame. We will have 94 feet on Hall of Fame. We got all ball pets on Hall of Fame. We got gold pig dodge and fast feet on gold and clamps on gold. So that's really, really good for this build, man. If you want to take it to a 95, you don't get none at 95. That's up to you, okay? So for the um, for the rebound, we did add a little rebound on the build just so we can get rebound chasing. So we took the offensive rebound to a 60 and the defensive rebound at a 48. So that's pretty good in my opinion. Uh, for the speed, uh, we have an 83. Uh, like I said, if you want more speed, go down to 6.7 or 6.6. For the acceleration, we have that at a 77. Um, 74 strength, we still still good in that area. 74 on the vertical, that's all you need. And the rest is on, oh my bad. Well, I got some extra points at. Hold on now. I shouldn't have had no extra points, where did I? Oh, I think I put it, hold on. Oh, my bad, <laughs> my bad. Uh, I took the uh, perimeter defense down too far and the rest is on stamina. Then we got Hall of Fame Workhorse, by the way. Let's get into the shades of are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. We do have uh, Run Our Test OG, and we got Jimmy Butler, and the build name is the infamous Point of Attack Stopper. And don't forget to let me know in the comments what is your favorite spicy food, and I'm out of here, man. Charge!